Diaz and Carlos Condit. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Condit is 36. Diaz is 37. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, the natural born killer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we are in Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last year. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody needs to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Big ball for Butch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Oh, spinning back fist. 
And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Left hand punch. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, wow. Oh! Bottom fighter trying to control, and he's out. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Three minutes to go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Forward, forward. Oh. Oh, straight right. Oh. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Real sneaky body kick. Oh, good kicks there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. <laughs> lands the right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands. Good combination there by Connor. Take it to the ground. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. And they separate. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Looping left hand misses the target. to the headlands, flush there by Diaz. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 15 seconds remain in the round. Stop following it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round.
Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Punches block. Good punch lands. Condit's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, big elbow. And they separate. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Well, it looks like Condit's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Mikey in the single collar tie. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well Drops a big right, beautiful level change. And this take. might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. Brilliant submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture, but if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, Diaz has got the full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under two minutes now to go. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the box. Trying to recover full guard there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Diaz. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Condit. And there was an elite elbow. And so he's mixing everything up. Oh, another big elbow by Condit. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
on it, gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Ten yeah. minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close. Nice punch lands over the top. A little single collar tie there. Nice leg kick land. Doing a nice job putting it all together. Throws the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. The right hand just misses. Moving to his left now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Switching stances here. And they separate. Right hand punch from the clinic. Hooks to the body now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done it. Whoa! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a fight we got going on here! Got the single collar tie. Well, it looks like Condit's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. One, two, takedown. One, two, takedown. All right, single collar tie now. Nice. Big kick lands. Left hook counter. Oh, single collar tie here. Big oh. punch from the clinch. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, Diaz is uppercut, but that one is blocked. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Let's put it together. Give me a good takedown behind it now. Let's go. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yeah. 
just out of range with the straight left hand. And he continues to work the body here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Final seconds. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix it. Oh! Condit gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Effective strike there by Diaz. Condit fires off a right. Single collar tie now. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Head kick. for the spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Back to the feet. Just over three minutes to go now. The natural-born killer gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does it. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Time. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Nice defense there. Huge block. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, big shot lands. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop. Oh! Stop. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. And they separate. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Oh, 
Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big kick land. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. He got him. Powerful leg kick land. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Diaz. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Pretty significant. Oh! He's out! He got him! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody. Anybody within the weight area, if he decides to go up, he's a problem at 185. He decides to go down, he's a problem at 155. He is just that good a fighter. Congratulations to the champ on retaining his title.